and now we're back. How special yeah. does it feel to be in front of people again? Um, I, well, it's nice, isn't it? Right, we're all human. It's nice to be around and actual people. I've been doing interviews most of the day. It's all virtual. It was very funny, actually. Like, they had me fly to New York to then speak to people back in LA. I was like, what is going on in this world? But it's very nice to see everybody, and I can't wait to see it on the big screen, because even though I've been working on it for six years, this will be only the second time I've seen it on a big, big screen. I saw it on smaller screens in the edit room all the time. But it's unique. It's wonderful to get to share it with other people in the room and feel feel the atmosphere. Did the break make you a different actor now? You've had a bit of a, you know, a break from filming. I think, I think the, the break changed everybody, didn't it? You know. Uh, but, but one thing it did do is that I verbally committed to my friend David to obviously make this film, to Taika to make Thor Love and Thunder, to Scott Cooper to make Pearl Blue White. Three films in a year, that's more than I've ever done. Nobody needs to see my ugly mug in three films, so I'll go step away for a little bit now. No, you know? no I must, I must. <laughs> you don't want any more. No, sorry. All right, one here. Hey, Christian, Scott from Hey You Guys. Lovely Cheers. to meet you. Uh, you've worked with some amazing ensembles in your career. How does this one rank, and how oh, much man. fun was it with these guys? Holy crap, it's, it's right up there. This will always remain as one of the most special films I've ever been involved in. You know, my friend David, who I just love hanging out with and talking with, and him inviting me to be there right from the beginning, right from his scribbling on a napkin to finishing up, you know, uh, editing and, and being there throughout. And then, wow, you know, the people who decided that they were they were going to come join us uh, for the ride. That was absolutely incredible. And you've got amazing people like, obviously, Chris Rock and, and all yeah. these other amazing people, people you might not have ever worked with before. That must be yeah. great when they come in and you get to work with people you haven't worked with before. Oh, absolutely fantastic. And I remember that when, uh, uh, one of the days when Chris was working there, he hadn't gotten to do any stand-up for a while but we were doing a gala sequence where we had a stage and he had an audience and there was a break and he, 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 he was not wasting any of those breaks, you know. The, se the second there was a free mic and an audience, he was right up there telling jokes and practicing <laughs> his uh, future routines. He was great, something else. I'm such a fan of him. Fantastic. Thanks so much. Cheers. Pleasure. All right, stand here with you. One Hello again. Hello again. Hello. Emily Glover, sorry. Hello, lovely to meet you. Congratulations nice to meet you on too. the film. Oh, thank you, you so much. Insane, you were absolutely oh, hilarious as well. I hope that's insane in a good way, thank of you. Of course, I appreciate yes, it. always. Right. <laughs> I wanted to ask you obviously, Amsterdam in this movie is a place where characters feel free and happy. Yeah, yeah. For you, what has been your Amsterdam over your career, whether it's a moment or a project? What's yeah. it been for you? Yeah, no, well, um, it's it's a few things, you know. I think it's any moment when you're just dedicated to one thing and immersed in it. So, it's my family, right? It's, it's going on motorcycles. Um, uh, it's, it's when a film is going well. And then also realized uh, today, talking with a gentleman from Portugal, uh, it's uh, Portugal, because when I was 10, uh, my family, we just kind of ran away from England. I didn't go to school. I ran away in a farming, uh, ran around in a farming community in Portugal and just had the best time ever, riding around on scooters at 10 years old, you know, uh, and whatnot. So that was, that was absolutely idyllic. Yeah. I love that. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!